The uh, wheel wells of docks, I call them the wheel wells just because of where, where they're at. It's, it's where the wheels come down from the posts and they have X bars in there. So if you're looking at it with the X bar, you want to put that right there at the X and let it drop straight down on the docks every time. That's, that's going to be where they're at most of the time if they're under a dock. Whether it's the front wheels, the middle wheels, or the wheels closest to shore, fish them all because they all potentially can hold bass. Always hit the pontoon boat docks. Well, all boat docks, but especially pontoon boat docks. Pontoon do boat docks are just some of the best absolute cover that you're going to find for bass. And you can catch a lot of big bass underneath pontoons, so start fishing them a lot. Don't ever pass up a boat lift, and especially a pontoon boat lift, because there's bass under there, and they're big ones. That's a nice little bass right there. Oh, yeah. This is what the patience of using a six stick will get you. I had that thing under there. Oh, get out of there. That's a really nice bag. I had that thing in there probably 15 or 20 seconds, and just one twitch is all I did. Golly, get out of there, man. Come here. Nice bass. One twitch is all that I did. They're just really finicky today, so. Patience again. I know I preach it to everybody, but you better have some, and if you got it, you're going to get these bass that you're passing up. Nice little bass there. Good way to start the day. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Got that six stick wacky rig. Nice little bass there. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Picked up before I even knew it again. Golly. Come here, buddy. Well, you got some fight for you, bucko. This is why I fish the six stick and fish it slow and I fish it with confidence, folks, because you see what I do. How many videos have you seen me out here with the six stick weightless right there in the mouth and I'm smacking the dog crap out of them? Video after video of bass after bass being caught on six sticks. Get yourself some and go have some fun, folks, because this is awesome. This is what it's all about right here. Thank you, Mr. Bass. I appreciate that. There we go. Nice little bass there. Nice little bass there. Golly, come up here. Oh, they're strong. That's a big bass again. Six sticks, folks. Six sticks. Flat out catch bass, and they catch nice bass. There's a reason I use them a lot. It's not because it's the only thing I know how to do, but it's because I have success on them all of the time. And that's what I'm out here for, is to catch fish and big bass like that. You know what I'm saying, folks? Right down there in the mouth. Bass after bass you're seeing caught on a six stick. It's time to go out and get some, guys. This is a blast. Thank you, Mr. Bass. I appreciate this. You are awesome. Shysters, we got a hook that is buried deep. 
We are not going to mess with it. We're going to let him go and he'll survive. Thank you, Mr. Bass. It takes about three or four days for their asses to really start dissolving that hook and they end up spitting it out. So I just cut the line and let him go when it's too deep because I don't want to hurt him. Thank you, Mr. Bass.